Welcome to This Is My Architecture. I'm Aarti from AWS, and joining me today is Don from Summit Technology Group. Don, welcome to the show. Thank you, glad to be here. So Don, tell us what Summit Technology Group does. Yeah, so Summit is an IT consulting firm uh, located in Pennsylvania. Great, so what are we here to talk about today? We're here to talk about a loan origination system. It's a multi-tenant SaaS application that we've built. And the really cool aspect of it is a, uh, a model for single tenant uh, data consumption. Great, let's dive into the architecture. All right, so the multi-tenant uh, SaaS application runs as uh, various pods on EKS cluster, and then we have uh, Postgres Aurora for the database. So on this side is your multi-tenant application. How do you like, uh, this is loan origination system, so it's a highly regulated industry. How do you take care of like data privacy and isolation on the application itself? Exactly, so yeah, we never want to commingle customers' data. So we have uh, separate pods on EKS uh, per tenant, and then we have uh, separate schemas in the database uh, per tenant. Great, so once you have the application that processes all the loans and have the data ready, how does your end customers consume this data? Yeah, so they would consume the data for through QuickSight, uh, but first whenever we would onboard a new tenant uh, using Control Tower, specifically Account Factory for Terraform, uh, through our automated processes we would create for them a new AWS account and then pre-provision it with QuickSight. So every new customer gets their own AWS account, so it's single tenant um, architecture. How does your QuickSight now get data from the actual Postgres database that customers can consume? Right, so we would peer the uh, VPC uh, the QuickSight uh, would be using uh, with Transit Gateway, and then Transit Gateway would talk to Postgres Aurora uh, to connect to the data source. Great, and your end customers get access into QuickSight to view the data uh, for their loan origination system. Correct, yes. I also see customer data here. Uh, what are, uh, what's the rationale behind this one? Yeah, so many of our uh, community banks also have data on-prem that they would want to visualize in QuickSight with the LOS system data to kind of marry the two together. So to do that, we would um, connect back to their on-prem data through a VPN or perhaps direct connect if they would like that. Um, and then we can consume the data into QuickSight uh, from both sources. Great, so you have data, if customers have on-premises data or other data sources, you ingest it into the same QuickSight dashboard and then they can compare data between what from the multi-tenant application and their on-premises source. Exactly. Great. Don, thank you for sharing this architecture on how you use Control Tower to isolate accounts for your customers. And thank you for watching. This is my architecture.